Hi, Vinas. I'm back here uh, with one more content on COVID-19. So as per the prediction and the strategy that we have discussed for INICET, it's good to see decent number of questions from COVID-19 and the same thing can happen in the upcoming NEET examinations. So let's go into the top. So COVID-19 is a one disease which most of us, most of the population, okay, most of the family members have suffered in the past few days. Okay. So in this process, you may learn so many things, not academically, but to increase your awareness towards COVID-19, we have learned so much. So I'll just clear cut the things what you and I have learned in the process of general information to a proper literature, okay, proper literature from academic point of view. So COVID-19, so the first is, is diagnosis, right? So diagnosis is by a combination of few things. That is the clinical features that includes the symptoms and signs, the radiographical features and the laboratory features. So all these together combine to give a proper diagnosis. Means alone radiographic features or image modalities alone cannot be used either in the diagnosis or either in the screening. Even your CT cannot be used for diagnosis and screening. Your chest x-ray cannot be useful for diagnosis and screening. They should be combined with the clinical features and they should be combined with the laboratory findings to come out with the proper diagnosis of this COVID-19. So they can ask you the first image modality that is used in COVID-19. The first image modality or the first line image modality that is used in the COVID-19. It is not CT, it is chest x-ray. Chest X-ray is the first image modality that is used in the screen. Make a note, your chest X-ray is not useful for diagnosis and it is not useful for screening. Okay, alone cannot be useful for diagnosis and screening. Even your CT, CT is not useful for diagnosis, alone not useful for diagnosis, not useful for screening. Okay, very clear. And make a note, if a patient, if a patient of a particular age, symptom, signs, all these are regularly asked questions, right, in your case-based approach. So all these features, like clinical features giving, and they can, if they clearly mention the CT is normal or the chest X-ray is normal, make a note. Normal chest X-ray does not rule out COVID-19. Normal CT scan, patient may have normal CT scan, but he may have COVID-19 infection. Patient may have normal chest X-ray, Okay, so normal chest X-ray, normal CT scan does not rule out COVID-19. Very specific and very important is your RT-PCR, that is reverse transcriptase PCR is the one which helps the things to get settled well now. Okay, so your RT-PCR, hope most of you have heard this term, that is reverse transcriptase PCR is 95 or more percentage sensitive so this is the best way to identify covid 19 as of now okay this is the best way to identify the covid 19 as of now so what is the difference what is the advantage of ct now nowadays like everyone are being uh, uh, affected or symptomatic and they want to get results okay so your rt pcr will take time okay whereas your ct will be immediate like once the patient is affected take ct scan Okay, the CT result is out and you will see the investigations on CT. So CT, the only advantage, of course, it helps in the diagnosis, but alone cannot help in diagnosis, but it should be combined with RT-PCR. But CT is going to give you the results immediately. CT scan is going to give results. Results are immediately. So if you want, you can make a note about the laboratory findings uh, which are seen in this COVID-19. The laboratory findings which are seen in the COVID-19 are there will be decreasing in the lymphocytic count, increasing in the C-reactive protein, okay, increasing in the uh, lymphocytic count and increasing in the C-reactive protein and decreasing in the lymphocytic count are some of the laboratory findings that you can see. So when you go to this chest x-ray, so most of us, this is a normal chest x-ray. You can see this is a normal chest x-ray. So when you see 
you can see the haziness okay so that is the main thing that you can see in uh, your covid 19 the peculiar radiographic features in the covid 19 are haziness you can see okay you can see this haziness like here it is normal here it is normal you can see this haziness okay uh, in this particular zone you can see this haziness in this particular zone so there is altered of haziness the areas of haziness which can be seen on the ct ct as well as ct you can see them on the chest x-ray okay so that and if you go in detail into these hazinesses these hazinesses are of two types one is ground glass opacities that is called as ggos that is ground glass opacities and the second one is called as consolidation okay so ground glass opacities is the first line it comes first and followed by as the time increases with the infection it will be converted into consolidation okay and other important features most of these C cts as well as the chest x-rays the peculiar features of this covid 19 one is bilateral means you you you, you, you the affected will be bilateral means both the sides of the <coughs> both the lungs left as well as right are affected bilateral and it is multifocal means you'll have more number of focus multifocal it is it's not a unifocal it is multifocal most most of the lobes will get affected it's not single lobe you can see here one lobe affected here one lobe two lobe here three to four lobes are affected so most of the lobes get affected even five lobes are also affected in few conditions and the other important aspect about this one is most of these are peripheral okay you can see peripheral most of these are peripheral they are outside they are not center they are not center they are outside they are on the periphery so the three important features that you have to make a note about the ct as well as the chest x-ray are they are bilateral both the sides multifocal different lobes are affected in the lobes you can see multifocal similarly like your ameloblastoma which is unilocular and multilocular right so unilocular unicystic ameloblastoma multicystic ameloblastoma similarly it's not at a one point it is at multiple areas and most of these are periphery they they stay outside okay they say outside the periphery of the peripheral borders of the lungs and if you take the condition into if you take the situation into consideration they, they can ask you the most common ground glass opacities are most common than any other radiographic feature in the ct scan one point second thing multifocal are more common when compared to that of the unifocal that is the other important aspect that you have to make a note when we are talking about the ct scan or chest x-ray so if you go detail into this this is a uh, ct ct okay this is a ct scan so you can clearly see these yellow color uh, markings okay these yellow color markings are your these yellow color markings are your ground glass opacities these yellow color markings are your ground glass opacities whereas your uh, green color markings okay your green color markings are your space considerations these green color markings are their space considerations right so these are the important things that you have to make a note okay these features are common both for the ct as well as well as for the x-rays and if you if you see this particular thing uh, into consideration okay the main aspects that you have to make a note is one is ground glass opacities so in the case of your ground glass opacities where you can see here the ground glass opacities where you can see some uh, networks which are going here and there these networks are nothing but the underlining vessels so in ground glass opacities you can see the underlining vessels whereas these ground glass opacities after few days they are going to convert into considerations okay as the infection increases okay so where these vessels are going to disappear the ct features you do you need to make a note about the ct features okay we have already discussed the one important ct feature is ground glass opacity the second important ct feature is consideration and the other important ct feature that you have to make a note is crazy paving pattern it's something like a uh, around the periphery for example if you take this ground glass appearance the periphery is something like a radio opaque border right so this radio opaque border is in such a way that it looks like bricks were arranged at the circumference so that is called as 
crazy paving pattern okay so these are the most important things the most common thing that you find in ct or x-ray chest x-ray of covid 19 patient is ground glass opacities okay so you you're clear like right? okay so what what are the peculiar features coming to the ct and uh, uh, ct and chest x-ray is ground glass opacities consolidation and craving crazy paving pattern apart from this very specific features of cb uh, your covid 19 are uh, your multifocal bilateral and periphery even you can see most of these are periphery here okay you can see most of the features are periphery here okay or or periphery or 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 around the outer side not on the inner side or the central side okay so as the patient is recovering you can uh, you can see the recovery also from the ct okay so for example a mild case or a recovery case only one lobe get affected whatever the cases we have seen as of now the ct and chest x-ray most of the lobes in the chest were in the lungs were affected but when the patient is mild or in the recovering stage only one lobe can get affected okay so that is very very important and please do make a note uh, other important features uh, about your rats okay so this rats is again the most common aspect uh, for covid 19 question okay a difficult question can be given for a dental student on this rats okay so the rats helps in level of suspicion of covid covid 19 infection so uh, it starts from rats 1 to rat 6 very simple as it moves down the severity of suspicion increases rat 1 is no and your ct findings will be uh, yeah there will be normal okay uh, it is a low chances uh, the abnormality uh, like the the i mean like the findings may be similar to covid 19 but can be suspected by other like the patient may have tb but you 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 when you're cross-checking the cds the cds looks like covid 19 so that that is called as low and this next one is indeterminate okay it is unclear okay it is unclear about the covid 19 next rats 4 is highly the patient is highly suspicious of covid 19 uh, like if you take the features of radiographic features you can see this uh, ground glass opacities or considerations or you can see all the features multifocal and everything uh, but uh, uh, but but you you are not perfectly sure that it's going to be covid 19 but there are high chances maybe 90 percent is plus chances of covid 19 and the next one is very high chances means the features are very typical to covid 19 they exactly the lobes the multifocal bilateral the periphery everything mimics the covid 19 situation so that cases comes under very high high and very high are more risk of i mean like they, they are like probably there will be covid 19 and the rat 6 is the one in which you'll have all the futures and on the ct scan but the patient is positive to rt pcr so that is the highest okay so hope hope they can ask you like they can give you the case scenario and they can ask you uh, they can uh, they can add a ct finding or they can directly give uh, the CT scan photograph and they can ask you about this uh, rats whether it starts from one two or n set six okay so that's an important aspect uh, the other important aspect like i just want to give an idea so when the patient is recovering or when the patient is mild recovery or the patient is mild uh, you may have only one lobe get affected regularly it is multifocal, multi lobes. More than one lobe get affected, and other findings in CBCT, uh, your CT scan, okay, of of your lungs, of your chest, which which uh, may give you conclusion of other things is so no pleural effusion. Regularly pleural effusions are not seen in the COVID nineteen. So whenever you have a pleural effusion, I mean like regularly. Like, a CT chest will have pleural effusions when the patient is having a congenital heart disease or uh, bacterial, uh, uh, I mean pneumonia, bacterial causing pneumonia in such conditions, you can see this uh, uh, pleural effusion. And similarly, you can see uh, lung cavities. Sometimes you have radio opacities, radio, big radio opacities inside the lungs completely. Here you can see haziness, but regularly you can see uh, lung cavities okay lung cavities when you have lung cavities it's not covid 19 lung cavities are most commonly associated with again pneumonias 
the bacterial pneumonia and the fungal pneumonia pneumonia and uh, the next one is uh, I mean, like uh, all these features, what we have learned, this uh, opaque uh, ground glass radio opacities and all these features are not only very specific to COVID-19, but specific to majority of the viral pneumonia. So uh, once you diagnose it as a viral pneumonia with all these things, what we have learned, then you have to confirm it with RT-PCR or other laboratory investigations to confirm it to COVID-19. Okay, so these are the things that we have to take into consideration because, uh, uh, I mean, the severe case of COVID-19, okay, uh, the pneumonia is common. So you should differentiate whether the pneumonia is basically due to COVID-19 or the pneumonia is basically due to the secondary infection that is caused by COVID-19. So you have to differentiate the pneumonia, whether it is viral, bacterial or fungal. So basing upon which the treatment plan should be should be done accordingly okay so i'm done for now uh, probably we are planning to come out with few more uh, uh, few more uh, stuff related to covid 19 and latest updates uh, which can be predicted as an mcqs uh, in your need 2020 okay uh, hope hope uh, hope everything is clear so please do make a note about the ct scan and uh, the chest x-ray uh, how they are different what are the futures are seen and you need to make a note about what is sensitivity specificity related to the diagnosis of covid 19 rt pcr reverse transcriptase pcr is the best one for the diagnosis okay your ct scan or your chest x-ray cannot be alone useful for the diagnosis of covid 19 cannot be useful in the diagnosis cannot be useful in the screening but the main advantage of these is they are immediate they are immediate okay so done for now signing off dr Srikanth from team mds conquer